brother of Gloucester, at Tartan's Field, this lady's husband, Sir Richard Gray, was slain. Oh. Oh. His lands then seized on by the conqueror. Her suit is now to repossess those lands. But it's honor to deny it, her. Oh, for no less. But uh, yet I'll make a pause. Yeah, is it so? Then I see the lady hath the thing to grant before the king will grant her humble suit. He knows the game. How could he keep the wind? He's silent. Widow, we will consider of your suit. And uh, come some other time to know our mind. All right, gracious lord, I cannot brook delay. May it please your highness to resolve me now. And what your pleasure is shall satisfy me. Aye, widow, then I'll warrant you all your lands, and if what pleases him shall pleasure you. Uh, lords, give us leave. I'll try this widow's wit. Now tell, madam, do you love your children? Aye, full as dearly as I love myself. And would you not do much to do them good? To do them good, I would sustain some harm. Then get your husband's lands to do them good. Therefore I came unto your majesty. I'll tell thee how these lands are to be got. What you command that rests in me to do. But you will take the exception to my boon. No, gracious lord, except I cannot do it. Oh, I can't do what I mean to ask. Well, then I will do what your grace commands. He plies her hard, much rain wears the marble. As red as fire, nay, then her wax must melt. <laughs> Why stops my lord? Shall I not hear my task? An easy task. Tis but to love a king. That's soon performed, because I am a subject. Well, then. Thy husband's lands I freely give thee. I take my leave with many thousand thanks. But stay thee. Tis the fruits of love, I mean. The fruits of love, I mean, my loving liege. Ah, but I fear me in another sense. What love thinks thou I sue so much to get? My love till death, my humble thanks, my prayers, that love which virtue begs and virtue grants. No, by my troth, I did not mean such love. Why, then you mean not as I thought you did. To tell thee play, I aim to lie with thee. To tell you plain, I had rather lie in prison. <laughs> well, then. Thou shalt not have thy husband's land. Oh, oh, my dear Lord, this merry inclination accords not with the sadness of my suit. Please you dismiss me either with I or no. I, if thou wilt say I to my request. No, if thou dost say no to my demand. Then no, my Lord. My suit is at an end. Not in it, Sir Brown. He is the bluntest wooer in Christendom. Say that King Edward take me for his queen. <laughs> Tis better said than done, my gracious lord. I am a subject fit to jest with all but far, unfit to be a song. Oh, sweet widow, by my state, I. Swear I speak no more than what my soul intends, and that is to enjoy thee for my love. And that is more than I will yield unto. I know I am too mean to be your queen, and yet too good to be your concubine. You cavil, widow. I did mean my queen. To grieve your grace, my son should call you father. Or no more than when my daughters call thee mother. Thou art a widow, thou hast some children, and by God's mother, I being but a bachelor, have other sons. <laughs> Why, it is a happy thing to be the father of the many sons, I'll answer no more, for thou shalt be my queen. Does the father now have done his shift? <coughs> ah, <laughs> brothers! <laughs> um, you muse what chat we two have had? Widow likes it not, for she looks very sad. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's strange if I should marry her? To whom, my lord? <laughs> <laughs> Why, 
Why, Clarence, to myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, jest on, brothers. I can tell you both. Her suit is granted for her husband's lands. Widow, come you along. Lords, use her honorably. <laughs> I, Edward, will use women honorably. Would he were wasted, marrow, bones and all, that from his loins no hopeful branch may spring to cross me from the golden time I look for. And yet between my soul's desire and me, the lustful Edward's title buried, his Clarence, Henry and his son, young Edward, and all the unlooked for issue of their bodies to take their rooms ere I can place myself. A cold premeditation for my purpose. Why, then I do but dream on sovereignty. Like one that stands upon a promontory and spies a far-off shore where he would tread, wishing his foot were equal with his eye, and chides the sea that sunders him from thence. <laughs> my eye's too quick, my heart or weans too much, unless my hand and strength could equal them. Well, say there is no kingdom, then, for Richard. What other pleasure can the world afford? I'll make my heaven in a lady's lap. <laughs> and deck my body in gay ornaments and witch sweet ladies with my words and looks. Oh, miserable thought. And more unlikely than to accomplish twenty golden crowns. Why, love forswore me in my mother's womb. And for I should not deal in her soft law, she did corrupt frail nature with some bribe to shrink mine arm up like a withered shrub, to make an envious mountain on my back where sits deformity, to mock my body, to shape my legs of an unequal size, to disproportion me in every part, like to a chaos or an unlicked bear whelp that carries no impression like the dam. And am I then a man to be beloved? Oh, monstrous folk to harbor such a thought. Then, since this earth affords no joy for me but to command, to check, to all bear such as are a better person than myself, I'll make my heaven to dream upon the crown. And whiles I live to account this world but hell until my misshaped trunk that bears this head Be round impaled with a glorious crown. And yet I know not how to get the crown. For many lives stand between me and home. And I, like one lost in a thorny wood that rends the thorns and is rent with the thorns, seeking a way and straying from the way, not knowing how to find the open air, but toiling desperately to find it out, torment myself to catch the English crown. And from that torment I will free myself. Or hew my way out with a bloody axe. Why, I can smile. And murder whilst I smile. And cry content to that which grieves my heart. And wet my cheeks with artificial tears. And frame my face on all occasions. I can add colours to the chameleon. Change shapes with Proteus for advantages. And set the murderous Machiavel to school. Can I do this and cannot get a crown? Tut. Were it further off. I'll pluck it 